Hello everybody. Welcome to another great episode of Distilled Brood and Reviewed. My name is John and I'm sitting here in Sippin' Den in the heart of bourbon country, Louisville, Kentucky. If you're new here, <clears throat> I do everything that has anything to do with alcohol. Everything that has anything to do with alcohol. And if that isn't enough, and it's enough, I do my famous Sunday morning coffee reviews. Now, how are you going to find out what I do? And everything? It's easy. You look at my playlist because I have it all broken down. I'm, I'm proud of them. I think they're the finest playlists on YouTube. I really do. I keep them up to date. I keep them in condition. I'm always fine-tuning them. If you look at my playlist, you'll only find the stuff that you love and that you know you, you're here for the scotch. You love scotch. I got a scotch playlist. Um, but I think that you'll see things on that playlist that interest you and intrigue you that you weren't really aware of this is just check it out and give me a sub that's all I ask this is a one-stop shop you may have a YouTube channel you may look at a lot of you that's fine but this has everything that you need in the world check out my stuff I'm constantly adding to it uh, now how do I do this well first of all I do because I can uh, I've been in the liquor business my whole life I was born into it and then I've worked in various um, stages of this industry. I am still working in it today. Uh, so it um, doesn't make me an, uh, anything. It makes me an enthusiast who has a lot of experience in it. Uh, this room tells a story of my life's collections of, of stuff. Um, anyway, this one. These are not expensive. Now, who makes Glenn Fodre? Right? Glenn Fodre. You won't find it if you look it up. You do a little research, though. Uh, you'll find out that it is uh, space side. That's no secret. It's all over the thing. But you'll find out that it is made by um, William Grant and Sons. They're the ones who do Glen Fittage, uh, Belvini, Monkey Shoulder, and some other ones. Um, this is Glen Fittage. That's who makes this. They make it exclusively for Total Wine. It's not very expensive. Uh, it's a, the, I, I think I showed you. Yeah, you know what? Because I'm doing three of them. Then. So. You know, who could resist this when you see it? I can't. I'm a sucker for these type of things because it gives me three beautiful bottles to try. See, if I like it, one has been outstanding so far. One has been okay. One has been outstanding. These are non-chill filtered. They are 47.1% ABV. That is 94.2 proof. That's beautiful. Um, what does this say? I'm not going to see this. Um, if you see this, get it. Ooh, my bottle fell. Um, yeah, get it. Because this is where these are not expensive, and they're not only uh, one of them's been okay, one of them's been great. Uh, but if someone wants to mix it or something, they're not so expensive to where it kills you. I knew one of them was only, yeah, for seven fifty was um, like forty dollars. Um, now this one, all right, this one, American oak cask finished. The last one I had um, said French oak cask finish. Yeah, you'll see my reviews on. Anyway, uh, the first cask it says right on here, Glen. Um, Fodre American Oak Cask Finish has been matured in traditional American white oak cask until it has achieved the perfect balance of flavor. Second cask, um, once our malt master has approved the quality of the first maturation, the whiskey is then transferred into first fill American bourbon casks. First fill. Um, the last one was done the same way, but it, instead of the bourbon finish, it was done in a uh, French wine. I love wine, so I, I love that. Uh, so let's see how this one is. Um, let's get into it. Yeah. Cheers, my friends. Cheers, 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 cheers. think it says on here non-shell filtered uh, and it is and and uh, uh, gives the proof which is a nice nice solid proof and I did read somewhere that it was non-colored but I don't know it doesn't say on this so, um, anyway here's the color on the bottle and here's the if I didn't show you the label can't even remember it's the third one I'm doing um, comes in a cool blue box I'm telling you if you see a total wine this package and I mean, they had it for Christmas. I don't know if uh, I would grab it. 
I would grab it. You know what I need to do? I need to do the uh, the American Oak, American Oak finished or second maturation in French wine barrel, second maturation in um, bourbon barrels, and side by side. But anyway, for now. Now you got to remember the bourbon barrel. This is done in American French. Uh, white American oak first, and then put in the bourbon barrel. The bourbon barrels, by law, have to be white American oak, so it's going to be a big influence of the white American oak. The other one went into French oak barrels that had wine previously. So, it's going to be different, there's no doubt about it, and it smells different. All three of them are different. Now, this is a single malt, right? Uh, so, it's 100% malted barley. It comes from one distillery. And uh, Glen Fittage, and it um, uh, is done in the pot still. Y'all probably know that. I love scotch. Well, I really. No smoke, no peat on the nose. Man, that's sweet. You know this is bourbon. It's got all those maple syrup, brown sugar. And it's got the chocolate from the malted barley. A little bit of graininess, but overshadowed by that rich... Sweetness, maple syrup, brown sugar, a little bit of green. Like a sweetened breakfast cereal, and you're eating pancakes with it with the syrup on it. That's just, see, that's, how could you not like it? I mean, how? I don't know. I'm in bourbon country, and people, they just don't get into scotch. A lot of them here, and I, and I love bourbon. Oh, I love bourbon, but how could you not love scotch? Acclamation sip, All right? Never judge on the first sip. You know that. It's my favorite. Remember, I told you I had one that was okay and one that was really good. So now I'm saying this one's even better, better than the French wine. Because, and I love wine. I drink a lot of wine. I do review wine on here. Um, and wine was actually the first name of the channel. I expanded. Um, that being said, I am in bourbon country, and I do drink a lot of bourbon. Now, I've worked in all these industries. I don't know if you all know. I was born into it, and I've continued to work in it in every aspect, just about every aspect of it, every aspect of it, um, my whole life. And this sip and then uh, is accumulation of my life's work, really. Uh, but... Um, that being said, so this is, this is, this is, this is, yeah, this is, no, made by Glenn Fittage, exclusively for Total One. If you see the blue label, that says American Oak uh, cask finish, double maturations right here. They're not expensive. I know that the 12 year was $40 for the 750. First of all, if you see this tree I'll get it immediately this one's delicious the the one with the red label it says double maturation but it says French oak is is really good as well and the 12 year uh, regular one you'll see all these on my uh, playlist for the Glen uh, Glen Faudre under my scotch uh, was good it was okay I'll say okay the one, the one with the double maturation the French wine was good and this one's just better it's really good. Man, that's all right, that's good. It's not over oaked, which is amazing. Because the bourbon barrel and the white American oak is the same oak. 
and it's a strong oak. But it's not. It's got a kiss of oak, kiss of vanilla, a ton of sweetness, a ton of this bourbon notes, all right? The, the caramel, the brown sugar, the what I was, I always consider um, part of, of uh, you know, the bourbon profile, the caramel. Because remember, those bourbon barrels are charred, and that sugar gets charred and caramelized. It's got a kiss of that smoke from that barrel, just a kiss, just a light. This one has no peak. The second one, I was picking it up pretty good. This one, I'm not getting anything. Yeah, I am. But it's way on the back side. Not like the other one was a little more forward. The, the strength of that bourbon barrel is kind of hiding. But that peatiness mixed with that little smokiness in the barrel and all those caramel and sugar and um, honey and maple syrup, all the things that you usually get out of a bourbon barrel are in here in that sweetness. My chocolate. Mmm. Some nice chocolate in there, man. Wow. It's my favorite. And it's good. And you know they're not expensive. And so, if you have company over, of course, it's fun to open up all three of these and do side-by-sides, you know. Come over here. You're going to be involved. <laughs> but, you know, you say you like it mixed. You like it with soda whatever. Okay. These aren't that expensive. Pop it. Throw it in there, all right? Some of them back here, no, you can't do it. Uh, but then if you want to mix it, then I got my mixers. Uh, now, the, the, I don't consider this a mixer. This is a, a standalone, uh, but it wasn't so much to where I give you a nice solid one that you can mix with it, if that's what you like to do. You know, you come over to sipping then, and uh, there ain't a damn thing here you can't have, all right? I got a lot of stuff. It's not just back here. It's here, it's here, it's here. It's on these barrel heads. Um, and if it's not opened, well, you just open it. My friends are lucky son of bitches. Alright. Put a little water in it. I think we'll water it down, right? But it opened it up. Really opened it up. And I'm getting uh, so much more sweetness and oak now. These, that this is changing, that's, the molecular structure is changing. I just put a little water in it. Same thing happened on the last one. It's got brought out a cherry, chocolate cherry. Who the hell don't like that? Brought out a little more of that barrel influence too. This gift pack, or uh, gift pack, this trio uh, is, is, is fantastic. Uh, grab it, man. If you could get this at Total One, you grab it. Uh, you're going to have some nice drinking pleasure with it. The um, problem is each one of these is only, what, 375 milliliters. Uh, so I won't be on the shelf long. I'll be out of them here in a minute. But, um... You know, then it'll tell you if you want to get a bigger bottle. For a, for a good price, you get all three. You have your own palette, right? Your own. Me, I'm probably going back for another big 750 of this for sure, and probably, probably the one. Excuse me, the wine one. Well, I'd like to thank you for being here. Uh, please subscribe. Check out my playlists. All right. The first comment of this video will have this playlist of scotch whiskey to it it'll be pinned it's easy to find just pop on it but check out all the playlists i'm telling you i am proud of them i put a lot of work into them and i think you're gonna enjoy them all right if you think i deserve a sub please give it to me and i'll see you on the next one all right.